All right, everyone just stare forward and smile. How's it going, guys? Keegan McClellan here, marketing manager for Cinder, and I'm joined here with Seth, my marketing Ooh. assistant, What's up, dude? as well as Becca, the the basically the head honcho. I call her El Chapo. <laughs> She's the district manager of Cinder, and then we have Bree, her assistant, and she also takes care of all of your accessories. So anytime you uh, pick out a nice piece that you like, it's all thanks to her. Would she, it, yeah. I'm sorry. Would, would that make her a La Chapa? She's a La Chapa. As yeah, yeah. Not La Chapa. Chapa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're La Chapa. So uh, La Chapa. yeah. Can't change your business card. <laughs> Uh, and so today we're just gonna smoke on some of our favorite products. So uh, why don't we real quick, why don't we introduce what we brought? Okay, I brought some Virginia Company. So I got some ayahuasca purple from Virginia Company. Um, they're a producer that we've worked with for a really long time. We have a lot of love for them and they've been dropping a lot of new beta buds lately. So new strains, this one's a CBD flower. Um, I really like CBD products. I think it's um, good for your soul. So I, this one is six uh, percent THC and like nine and a half percent CBD. So I'm excited about to try this guy out. Yeah. Cool. And I brought the Wham Oil Sour Tsunami. It is a CO2 extract, CBD dominant strain from them. It's 47 percent CBD and just one and a half percent THC. So I really like it for like a good focused, clear-headed before work strain. Cool. Nice. Is this you? Yeah. And then I brought Bodhi High's Mindscape. Uh, it's some Turk crystals. It's this is my favorite uh, strain right now from the Platinum Pure uh, series that they've dropped so far. So I'm really excited to try this out with everyone. It's got a. Uh, it's only 64.6% total THC, but it's got 7.2% total terpenes, which is what you actually want to look for. So this should be pretty tasty and pretty effective. Yeah, and whenever you take a hit of Mindscape afterwards, you always, you always say, Mindscape. <laughs> and it just happens that way, so that's why we like it, you know? <laughs> oh my God. You need behavioral classes. <laughs> behavioral classes? Yes. <laughs> what, did, what did you Put bring, some beers. Seth? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I bought some of that pudding from uh, <laughs> the company uh, GLW, or known as Growing Like a Weed. Uh, and the, the pudding's a good one. It's a funny strain. It's across a Girl Scout and Star Killer. You think it'd be a little bit more chill, but it kind of gets you a little pep in your step, gets you moving around a little bit. Um, and it's real tasty, and I like it a lot. And we have it again right now, and uh, I can't wait to have some. Sweet, S smoking on the pudding. We also got some uh, CBD. Uh, where are these Pioneer Squares, mm -hmm. which are going to be really good too. Yeah, I love so, Pioneer Squares. Yeah, I think we should divvy out some Pioneer Squares, okay. and then we should figure out what we want to smoke first. We love Square Bears. I love the name Pioneer Square. It's like awesome. It's like Pioneer Square, Pioneer oh. Squares. It's a cute, it's a but cute little All of their yeah. stuff is yeah. like, like the Fremont Freaks. Like oh, sure. all of their stuff is like based around living in Seattle. Let's see, I love. Who, do, who, who makes, who's the maker of those again? Craft Elixirs. Craft Elixirs. Oh, Take one down, pass it around. Ooh. I like that they have a little freeze-dried fruit. Oh, do they? Yeah. These it's ones are 9 to 1 that. CBD. They're delightful. We also just got a tip from Jake downtown that if you put them in the freezer, they are more delightful. I so know. If that is possible. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're really good. Mm. Yeah, that's tasty. That, that just tastes like a candy. You wouldn't even know if that's edible or anything. Mm -hmm. They're like a little bit more expensive than other candies, but I think they're worth it. Yeah, that's good. I agree. One hundred percent. That's like good food. Mm -hmm. I have to, I have to pace myself because I'll buy those and I'm just eat like, all oh, of them? Yeah, yeah, I just want to eat all. Yeah. Of them. I'm like, oh, <laughs> we should have more edibles right now. This is not going as successfully as I had planned originally, but you know. I, doesn't matter. It's fine. You got weed in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some on the floor. <laughs> I feel like maybe a little bit more. It smells good. You know what's funny about the uh, Virginia Company? It's rumored that they're they're named after the train song Meet Virginia, but it's not accurate. No. <laughs> Where did you hear accurate. that rumor? Oh me. I made that up. Oh, okay. uh, just now. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Moments ago. You have pissed <laughs> off. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
like making up weird shit about all of our producers and spreading it around to the team. Hey man, did you hear about this? <laughs> did you hear about Virginia? Well, they the, they I, are sponsoring a train concert. The, the rep staff told me they love it when people walk up and go, "Meet Virginia." They, I can't did wait they really here. tell you that, or did you make up that rumor? Again, just I, I made that one up. Yeah, that's what I, I thought. I apologize. I would say it sounds plausible. Though. It, it sounds, sounds real, right? I mean, I would like that if I worked for a Virginia company. You would like that? Uh huh. Yeah, who doesn't like I mean, a train? Who does? Drops sure Jupiter. You do. Drops Jupiter in your hair. All right. Drops <laughs> Jupiter. I mean, I'm gonna go first, I guess, because it's in front of you. Yeah. It's right there. Cheers. That's everyone always says. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's What does ayahuasca mean? I don't know what it means, but ayahuasca it's a is drug. like a yeah, yeah, it's like people it's in it's it's in like almost every type of plant or yeah. something, but there's so a way you can extract it's it. Like DMT plus something like MAOIs to make it more bioavailable so it lasts like twelve hours. Yeah, there's like churches that yeah. like take it. In the stuff. Amazon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also in, I have a in <laughs> also in Seattle. I have a friend that's in the Seattle one. And he, he like, he's a librarian, and he's the exact kind of person you would think would be a librarian that also is in an ayahuasca uh, cult. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> Should we open one of these? Love you, bro, yeah. if you're watching. <laughs> Shout out to the ayahuasca cult. <laughs> Cinder has a cult, too. We meet every Wednesday in marketing, and we sing Hooba Stink. Yeah, <laughs> sacrifice <laughs> of birth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like cradle Seth like a child. Because we want you to know, I found a reason for <laughs> Is this going to get us viewers if you do that? Yes. Uh, you got to try. <laughs> it's just Seth has an amazing polls. voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm the lead singer of Hoobastank. Not everybody knows that about me. I've been uh, 2003, 2004. That's pretty good, actually. I love that band. It was like sweet. Yeah. Mm. Time was not good to your I bank really account like if you're here. Or my body. I really like that. <laughs> it's always really clean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We should get this ready. That tastes great. Uh, I don't always love smoking CBD flour, and that tastes really good. I smoke a lot of CBD flour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that one does taste exceptionally good, yeah. CBD flour. It's yeah. nice. I this was our first time ever getting any CBD flour from Virginia Company. I don't know that they've grown a lot of it in the past, but uh. it's nice. People are catching on to how fucking dope it is. Yeah. And that's yeah. amazing, too, because, you know, when a, a, a grower decides to grow CBD flour, they're, they're choosing to not grow a heavy THC strain, which is like... I don't know, it's commendable, I would say, almost, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, that's cool that Virginia yeah. Cummings get into that. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get loaded on that CBD before we, uh, dive into this. Get fucked up on that CBD. We're yeah. gonna get floaty. We're gonna get, get floaty. Floaty. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to start the yeah, fam well, oil? Yeah, we can start yeah. it. The email's on. It's ready Seth, to go. would you like to, ugh. So, I'm not a big dabber, so you guys get to watch me make a little, be a little silly over here. Oh, that made permanent damage. Damn it. Damage? My god. What? Oh, you gotta watch thing? out. Just watch out for your hot. email. Also, we love our mini nail so much. Yeah. Bought this mini nail at Canacon last last year. Yeah. Um, we have two of them here at HQ. They've survived lots of abuse. Um, we've had to replace very minimal parts on them. They work really well. I really like the Quartzy Banger. This mm-hmm. one's my favorite. Quartzy Banger. We also have a titanium. What's the other one? We have a titanium. It's not like a hybrid. We have a hybrid and a straight up titanium. I like this one best. Me too. We also have an anti, anti, how do you say it, Keegan? Anti antitum? Wolverine skeleton? No. Anyway, I'm gonna try the answer right now. What is it? <laughs> Anti- it's impossible to say. If you got adamantium. adamantium, adamantium. You got an adamantium. I, I still can't say it. Is. And it's fucking sweet. Adamantium bangers only at Cinder. Hashtag not true. Hashtag, Hashtag not, not real. true. <laughs> there we go. This video is gonna just be a lot of us telling lies. <laughs> Right. <laughs> we work in marketing. About random shit we don't even have anything to do with. We're natural storytellers. He was trying I'll not to assist. Oh, well, you don't want that? No, I did. No, You're taking care of me. This is why Keegan's a man. He takes care of his boy. That's master pupil. Are you going to do that? It's so no. much. <laughs> Brianna does more work than I do. <laughs> Not Fun fact, <laughs> Seth and I have known each other since uh, third grade. If you saw our previous smoke out together, you would know. 
and we held it down in third grade. You guys don't even know. Me and Keegan, I want to say we were like, like complete badasses, but you know, certifiable badasses. Certified, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys are the badasses here Ooh. too. So. <laughs> couple, couple bad boys. Um, fun fact: Brianna and I met at her job interview. And yes. I hired her because of her cute dog. <laughs> and it worked, worked out. out really well. That's all it takes, folks. That's what all it takes. What kind of dog is it? He is a Labradorian Ridgeback mix. Oh, he's cool. huge, but he's a giant baby. Also, a fun fact I broke my toe on the way into my interview. So. Mm -hmm. But she still interviewed really well. Yeah, it went well. Through the pain. Yep. Good job, Keegan. <laughs> so I heard everyone talking about the bachelor. He jumped over the fence, right? What? The bachelor jumped over the fence. Have you guys not seen the news? I have no. not seen the news. No, uh, the bachelor jumped Why the fence. Why did he guys. go? I actually don't know. I don't watch it. I don't either. Sort of, there was some sort of partition between him and someone else, and he jumped that partition. So to her? You know what? I believe so. Again, oh, okay, okay. I have not seen it, so I don't know. <laughs> I've seen a lot of good clips from the bachelor this time around, but I've never seen the show. Yeah, yeah same never. Yeah. I've, I've seen I've seen like episodes a couple seasons ago, but I've I, I mm -hmm. never watched it or anything like that. There was a girl who pretended to have an Australian accent Saw on that. this one. Saw yeah. That clip. She pretended? Yeah. yeah. Why would you okay. <laughs> you I don't know. I'm trying not well. to judge as much. <laughs> Did, I love The Bachelor. Um yeah. one of the seasons they had a girl that her first uh day she dressed up as a shark. Oh yeah, I saw that. And she said it was a dolphin. Oh no. Did she, yeah. did she get eliminated immediately? No! She stuck around for a while. Wow. Yeah, and okay. and she would she went swimming in her shark outfit. It was pretty impressive. I feel like you gotta keep them around if they're gonna go swimming in their shark outfit right. and call it a dolphin. Yeah. Man, my throat's kinda burny. Oh, yeah, Bernie, yeah. Can a little bit. Get a little Bernie throat. I got a little Bernie Sanders in that one. A little, a little bit. Bernie Sanders. Stop it. Got you good. We're gonna get the feel the burn concentrate again this time. Where was that? Feel from? the burn. Yeah, 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 that was Bernie. Right. Yeah, that was. Uh, oh, me, right. Yeah. They just made up their names though. When I had my son, they made me a straight name Brody OG. That's we cool. We had Hendrix OG. We did. All of us when we had our kids. There's a hundred Cinder babies. Cinder babies. Cinder babies. Only you have one in this table, so that's true. Me and Keegan are not parents, but we have dogs. We have dogs that are very beautiful. Beautiful boys. Beautiful, handsome young men. Uh, uh, I got an English, or nope, I've got a French Bulldog pug. <laughs> I have an English Bulldog. I got that nope. Yes, he does. Uh, we love him. We love him so much. They're the best. Who saved, who saved who, right? What? Say, what did you guys did think you of that? Did you that? <laughs> you should get a bumper sticker for sure. Hey, you saved too. <laughs> Look lovingly into your yeah. French bulldog size. Yeah. Oh, I do any chance I get. Mm -hmm. uh, on the weekends, I guess. But still, that's when I get them. Oh my god, you split custody. I forgot. Nothing wrong with the guys. Hey, that's Nothing what I would them. do. Two homes, <laughs> twice the amount of love. Okay. Two Christmases. <laughs> What did, Keegan, you were asking what we thought of it? Yeah, what did everyone think of that? I liked it. It's not super, like, a fake cherry taste, like a lot of CBD concentrates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was an easy consistency to work with. If you buy it, I might recommend throwing it in the fridge so it's not so goopy. Yeah. That's usually where I like to keep all my sap at. Mm -hmm. I really like sugar wax consistency, and I don't really know why the popularity died down. Like, I'm still personally about that product. Yeah. Trendy. Like favorite. Trendy. You gotta have diamonds. You gotta have for diamonds. For it to be good. You have to. You gotta shine bright like a diamond. What do you have over there again? Pudding? I got the pudding. The it's G not, there's pudding. a G. You like to make weird words out of words pudding. that aren't really yeah, there. Yeah, I do like that. You know, my first day at Center was a Wax Wednesday, and I could not help myself but call it Waxy Wednesday oh all day gosh. long Our to last every customer. marketing manager guy before Keegan <laughs> wanted to call it Wild and Wacky Waxy Wednesday. So that's a lot of iteration. That's <laughs> a lot. Wild and Wacky Waxy Wednesday. Man, that's a, lot. a lot. That's, that's a mouthful. Yeah, that's yeah. how you brand it. You can think of a whole it. page with yeah. the name of the sale. Uh huh. <laughs> Yo, w keeps their packaging fresh. That's why I appreciate them. Look at that. You hear that, you hear that rip, guys? That was a little. Ooh. That was a seal of freshness. It's opening right up. 
letting the goodness out. Ugh. You love me. it. You guys want to give it a little smell? Give it a little smell. What the hell? Does smell good. Um, pudding is not my personal favorite strain from GLW. Oh. I get like, I would say borderline too high. Oh sure, it gets <laughs> like, you good. It'll get you good. Yeah. I love how piney it is. Mm. I don't think I've had the pudding. I'm excited. Oh really? Yeah. It's nice. I usually stick to pink taco and black Jesus. It's Fuck. very different. Black Jesus is fantastic. Did you try their God's Gift if you like those strings? I did, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. I really like it. We don't get it very often, but it is nice. I'll have to and check that out. Mm -hmm. We don't have a grinder. You're we don't have a grinder. Right? <laughs> you don't need a grinder. We did not be prepared for this. Coddle generation, like, oh, I need a grinder. <laughs> Give me a little grinder. You got hands. You know, you got two of them, maybe. I don't know your situation. You do need a grinder from the Tahoe Grinder Company, though, oh, nice which grinders. we have, and um, we don't have one with us. We don't. They're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Take our word for it. Yeah. Take a right turn. Same thing with our mini mail. This video is not sponsored. <laughs> you wonderful people hand me that lighter. Please. No, you need to use your glasses <laughs> to, to reflect and the light. Reflect the yeah. light and make a. The, the, you've seen those pipes, right? Yeah, yeah. those are totally out there. Got mm -hmm. a little magnifying yeah, glass those. on them. Yeah. It's fun. There's a lighter right by your hand. Oh, I know now. I was just talking about the thing. I was just talking about the thing. <laughs> Camping on the product over there. Just wants it to last forever. It's fine. I had that later. For a matter of seconds, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Man, that tastes great. Super smooth, too. That's awesome. You gotta go for a treat. I'm nervous. Real treat. i nervous. <laughs> Do you guys remember this? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'll get you talking funny. Do you guys remember the episode of Seinfeld where George, I think it's the summer of George maybe, and he's making pudding skin singles? You guys know what I'm talking about? Yes. It's the thick pudding skin on top of fresh pudding. He would take an X-Acto knife, peel away, and then freeze, put them in like a freezer bag, and then like stand out singles of pudding skins. On Seinfeld, American Classic. Somebody needs to make that infused. Oh my god, infused pudding skins. <laughs> Dudes, listen up, man. Make those infused pudding skins for us, huh? Come on. Free market research over here. The people are demanding oh my god, pudding <laughs> skins. I'm sure it's George Costanza would be into it. So <laughs> yeah. If you can market as that, if George Costanza doesn't have an edible, he'll probably have this edible. Mm -hmm. George Costanza possibly approved. Possibly. <laughs> possibly. Were you guys Seinfeld fans when you were young? Yeah, I was no. not. I was also was not a... Um, Simpsons fan. Really? Like, Ooh. it's not because I didn't, I don't think, we just never had it on. Sure, you sure. You know? Sure. I just sure, never acquired taste. Yeah, know? and so now when I watch it, I'm like, why the fuck is this funny? Like, I just don't think it's that you funny. You don't like South Park that much. No, so. I don't. I think it's lame. Well, how could you? <laughs> no, how could it's you? the voices they use. I, <laughs> I mean, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, what's, what's which character was that? Yeah, which character? I don't know their names. I don't know their names. <laughs> Wait, yeah, please, no. The impersonation, I wish I didn't hear that. That sounds good. Yeah, we need to hear this. It's like, her! Hey, guys! I can go to the... <laughs> He's Mr. Hanky. Yeah. That's a pretty good Mr. Hanky the Christmas film. That's a film. real, yeah, it's a real character. You You're just thinking about Becca. She's an undercover, big South Park fan. Doesn't like to admit it, but she goes crazy fast. Knows all the obscure characters. <laughs> She's a Sparky. Purist, so. She's a huge fan of Sparky. I'm a fundamentalist. Yeah, huge fan of Sparky. Sparky. Everyone loves Sparky. What Sparky? Sparky subs? Old school Spokane, baby. What are we talking about? I was thinking <laughs> Sparky the dog. Really like this dog. Oh my god, is that I the George Clooney dog? Yeah. So sweet. Oh, yeah. yeah, Sparky the dog. I Sparky the dog. Name. That's great. We're done with this. Yeah. We're moving on. <laughs> We're, moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. I'm done with it. So, to effect. Do you want to start over here, I guess? I guess. <laughs> Yeah, Keegan, no, you talk you go. about it. You should so, use your product. So what I enjoy about Mindscape is that, and I feel like this is uh, one of the things that's so tricky about marijuana is that it says it's an indica dominant, but it always hits me like a sativa. It's just like a straight, just in your head type of high. So I don't, I've never really felt a real uh, body high off of this, but what I'm excited. What terpenes does it say it's high? Oh man. What terpenes aren't in here? <laughs> We got high in limonene. That's why I like oh, it so yeah. much. Anything in limonene, I'm a sucker for. Uh, beta mercine, uh, 1.08%. Cool. 
ba- oh, I, I don't even know how to pronounce this one. Karyophyling. Yeah. 8, 0.89. I always say karyo, uh, karyophyling. I think you can say it either way. Oh, well then. Yeah. Correct. If you can get in the general vicinity, yeah. you're 80% ahead of We're already yeah. there. Yeah. So we got uh, some linalool, 0.65%. Neuroletal, 0.3%. I don't know what that one is, but oh, beta pinene is 0.33%. Exactly. <laughs> I really like exotic. linalool. I think I look for things that are with linal, high with linalool. Yeah, so yeah I get that little Yeah, mm. I really like that flavor. I like saying linalool. And then it mends better with like incense that's burning. You know, yeah. it's already got that like aromatic. It's not super diesel y. Mm. Yeah, I like it. Or some lavender with it. It's fresh. Fresh. It's fresh. This is also Bodhi Highs. They're also pesticide free, which I try and primarily buy pesticide free. Yeah. Especially for your concentrates, because when they concentrate uh, everything, everything is getting concentrated. So your pesticides are also being uh, concentrated. So just something to take into effect when you're purchasing. It's like one of those things that sounds like obviously, but you never really think about that. Never thought about that. Mm -hmm. That you are going to be concentrating everything in Mm -hmm. that flower. It's it's a a worthwhile thing to think about. See, I don't know. I don't know about the Evans. It's always hard. You know what I mean, guys? I don't know. Who's with me? Who's with me, folks? What are you talking about? Dabbing is hard? It's hard. Dabbing is hard. I dab primarily in. Oh, you already got some for me. That's a lot of folks here. Most folks here are big dabbers. I'll take it. It's still so kind. (laughs) Go. Go. See what I'm saying? It's focused some flower. I up. primarily I smoke go. flour also. I used to mostly dab. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, just, it I never... missed the flavor profile of flour. Yeah, and I just like, I don't know, I like the high from flour too. Yeah. It's yeah. comfortable, it comes mm-hmm. in soft, but it gets, it'll get you there obviously For as sure. well too. Yeah. Yeah. It's that easier to point. taper mm-hmm. how much you're, like how high you're getting. You know? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's hard to get that like, I just want a little <laughs> hit of weed right now because right. I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to be obliterated. Day. I don't yeah. need an actual dab for that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's my thought too. Out of here. Just throw everything. Get our expensive items out of here. <laughs> Did this come with this rig? Yeah. <coughs> That's awesome. Yeah. It's a great little, uh, little carb cap. Or whatever that would be called. Is it a carb cap? Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Is, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. We're hoarding everything down here. You're good. What has everyone, uh, their favorite thing been so far? Fuck yes. <laughs> so good. Um, smoking, I don't know. I really liked that purple ayahuasca or ayahuasca purple from Virginia Co. so far. I really like it too. I I really, you know, I'm a fan of GLW Flower, but that's just not my favorite strain. Yeah, absolutely. That's fine. That's fine too. You know, you got different strains for different folks. Why well, there's so many out there, right? It's kind of a powerhouse strain. Yeah. Like yeah. I prefer rosé. Just a little. Rosé is, nice. is nice. Yeah. Rosé all day. It's really nice. I'm like, rosé, what do you say? I think I liked this Vaco flower too. Yeah. It's really squishy. Nicely carried. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. That is, it's crazy the, how like uh, uh, flagrant the, uh, uh, the the dab coming out of the, that the mindscape is right now. It's not, it smells so much like lemonade. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's super good. It's very tasty. Bodhi High never disappoints. No. I really like their GG4. Yeah. Recently, had their CBD amnesia. It was really good. Really? Yeah, I was impressed. And it came in an actual container and not the like CBD sap little. Mm, I don't mind. I don't mind that paper, the parchment paper kind of thing. No, it's like the plastic paper. You know what I'm talking about? Like the tampon stuff. Yeah. I can't get over all my wax off that. It's such a. It is such an attractive concentrate as well. Mm -hmm. Like. uh, it looks like a little cat, like you're just dabbing caviar. Don't dab caviar, guys. That's not gonna be or, what you want. <laughs> or do dab it and, and get send crazy. Us and crazy. Good. I was dabbing <laughs> mushroom caviar last night, and it was expensive. Let me tell you, <laughs> it was very expensive. It smelled terrible in my apartment now. <laughs> I was talking with Mitch from the Valley earlier today about how um, we like Bodhi High's Platinum Pure line a lot. I really like the regular line too, but mm-hmm. I really like this line a lot and. I'm not a huge Diamonds fan, but we talked about how theirs are nice because they're like serving sized, you know, like it's not like breaking open (laughs) a 
They really are. Like, yeah. There's just diamonds everywhere in this thing. It's just littered with like every little, just the perfect little sizable. Yeah, amount. it's like mm-hmm. one dab diamond. Yeah, it's I'll like, yeah. I'll say I've gotten a couple where I thought for sure that Sam was trying to propose to me through it. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh man, <sighs> great guys, you should be. <laughs> You'll be fine. Don't embarrass him. Silence. Silence. <laughs> Silence. Good job. See you Good job, buddy. Mind skate. Mind skate. <laughs> oh, it smells like mind skate. <laughs> See, this is why I'm doing it. I'm such. Guys, I know you're laughing at me. It's like more and more come. You're like, oh, I, I cleared it. I'm good. Oh, no, there's that much more. There's like a whole second amount. Keep going. There's a whole second amount. <laughs> Thank you. See, that's not cut out for them, it's fine. Are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> it feels so fake to me. It feels great. It feels great. <laughs> you love it? Good. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's really, really good. I love dabbing, and I love dabbing. I love going to the cabin, doing a little dabbing. Oh my Different god. Little, doing the dabbing cabin. We're doing the dabbing cabin. What is wrong with you? Me and Keegan, it's, that's Keegan. Keegan loves the dabbing cabin. Yeah. Dabbing cabin. <laughs> In marketing, we have this is our our this is the marketing piece, and I have it set up as a dab bar in my office. It's awesome. That's everything I've ever worked for. This is a dab bar in my office. We don't have a like dab a set up Don Draper. in our office. Not yet. <laughs> now Get on it. We need a dab station. You need a dab station in your office. No one dabs during work hours though. No. no. Not allowed. Watching you. Huh? I know who you are. If you, think, if you think he's kidding, he's not. Not <laughs> jokes. A lot of tricks. <laughs> Starting to feel like awkward. Starting. It's, <laughs> it's been video. awkward since. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been there since I woke up this morning. <laughs> <coughs> okay. So. Yeah. Now, have we tried everything now? Yes. Yes. So, uh, why don't we go, starting with Bree, why don't we go with what we, we've tried everything now, your final destination <coughs> on your favorite thing. Okay. I would say my favorite probably was the Mindscape from Bodhi across the board. It's so good. It's so tasty. It's definitely worth it at the $36 price point. So yeah, Mindscape <laughs> from Bodhi High was great. It I was good. I agree with that. It was good. No matter the price point, that is a for sure pickup. Mm-hmm. Yes. 25% off Wax Wednesday, as Seth uh, eloquently pointed out. Perfect. Extremely. You can't go wrong. All right, so Becca, what would you say was your favorite? I do really like that Virginia Company flower. It is really good. It's really nice. I want to smoke more of it. Well, smoke some more of it. Well, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I'll decide. I'll decide. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I really like that bacon flower. I thought it was really nice. I got really high. I think it was that dab, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. That dab I hope will we get don't post this whole video. <laughs> I hope <laughs> not. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've accepted my fate. So. <laughs> I don't know. Not about it. But, Keegan, what did you love? Um, Honestly, so... I'm a fat kid, so that was my favorite thing because it tasted the best. But... That boys. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely my favorite thing. Uh, the Mindscape from Bodhi High is just a, anytime I stop into Cinder now, I always try and grab it. But I, that was the last gram from downtown, so I'm pretty sure that'll be a while before we get it back in. Yeah, that, that's a Buckender favorite. All, I've been at the North Store, all the Buckenders were always talking about the Mindscape. Yeah, that was months ago. It's just a reliable strain. No. Yeah. Time and time again. Mm-hmm. That one will get you. That's where you want to be. Well, I think what I liked, I liked that, uh, I liked it all, honestly, but I like the, uh, I think I like the GLW flower the most. It, like, it's nice, it's nice high. It got me just where I wanted to be. This is amazing, but that's the big guns, folks, you know, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, this, uh, they're, yeah, um, but they, I really like this flower. I like the way it smells, I like the way it tasted. That being said, I did like the way, that as good as a concentrate smells and tasted, I actually liked 
the way it's the smoke smelled quite a bit as well. So you don't often, I guess, enjoy someone yeah. else's smoke very mm -hmm. much. Yeah. I did that, so I guess that's kind of cool. So. Thumbs up to that one. Or okay. Thumbs up to that guy. <laughs> if you need a good air freshener, <laughs> Mindscape from Bodhi Hunt. Fuck yeah. That's what air fresheners need to be. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> Just vaporize, put this in your little uh, vaporizer. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> we need to be done. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, anything, check that phone. everything in life should end with someone saying, okay, we need to be done. <laughs> this has gone fucking far All enough, right. obviously. <laughs> 30 seconds after we finish, it needs to be done. This needs, needs, to, be needs done. to be done. We should that should be a shirt. We should put that on a shirt. This needs to be done. I love that. Well, Becca. <laughs> if you would like to end this, we can. Okay. Um So we're gonna end this then? <laughs> I would like Dead to air. <laughs> Outro. I'm sorry, I thought I said I wanted No, we could do it. <laughs> yeah. No, we could do it. We could do the outro by all saying one word of the outro <laughs> and moving on to the next person. An outro like that. that, 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 that could be, I, I'll start it off. Well, thanks. For watching. You said more than one word. Thanks for watching our video. <laughs> <laughs> our video, that's what we're going to I have no idea. I think we nailed it. <laughs> we didn't do this in the beginning. <laughs> well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Again, I'm Keegan. This is Seth. He's okay. my marketing assistant. Assistant, don't forget that. <laughs> Never will. This is Becca. La Chapa. And this is Bree. La Accessories Chapa. There we go. <laughs> Lol. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye. The more, that's how it should end. The more you know. <laughs>